one many families suffering a complete agony for the past 26 days as they wait to hear news of their loved ones. And with us now, Aviram Meir and Orit Meir. Thank you for very, thank you very much for being with us. I understand uh, your your daughter has been kidnapped. Is that right? Not daughter, my son. I'm so sorry, your son, your son. My son. I'm sorry, my apologies, your son. Okay. Tell us what happened. Tell us about your son. Okay. My son is uh, 21 uh, years old. He's, uh, he's a very happy guy, social guy. I uh, very happy, uh, smart. What can I say? He's, uh, my son is uh, all my life, all my life. I understand, I understand. What happened, yeah, what happened is that he went to celebrate in a party. It was a Friday night. He was supposed to start a new job on Sunday. And uh, at that Friday, he went to celebrate with his friends on the party, a party of love and the uh, happiness and uh, in about uh, uh, 75 uh, p.m. a.m. my son they woke me up in the morning and, call and said to me mom they closed the the party there are rockets ro ro rockets all over and the bombs and uh, I'm hiding I don't know what's going on. I'll call you every half an hour. Mom, I love you. And since then, I don't have any contact with him. Mm. That's the last time you heard his After, voice. Yes, yes. After a few hours, we got a, a, a clip from a, that the Hamas uh, published. And I saw him, he was lying, this, uh, this clip, he was, he was lying on the, on, a, on the floor with other uh, young guys. And few of them were, uh, were tied uh, by hands and they, they were frightened. And my, my son covered his hands, uh, his face with his hands. And I was looking at his face. It was, you know, he was terrified, terrified. There's nothing, no worse nightmare for a mother to see your child in, in pain and suffering. I'm so sorry, Orit. I'm so, so sorry. So, I mean, when you see that the operation is continuing, the troops are moving into Gaza, are you hopeful they're going to they're gonna bring your boy back home? We hope so. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> What, I mean, what, what, what kind of what kind of character is he? Do you think he'll be he'll be with the other hostages? He'll be, you know, he'll have the strength. He'll be talking to them. He'll be helping people get through it. Is that the kind of guy he is? I believe he's a strong guy. I believe uh, I believe he can uh, he can manage. But I'm worried. Of course. It's the seventh. Uh, is If he's, uh, we don't know if he's alive. We, what is eating? Where he stay? How we sleep? If he's alone with friends, we know nothing about it. And I'm so worried. Of course, it's agony. I'm, 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 and I'm afraid. I'm afraid that uh, you know everything can happen. Yeah, I, mean, I want hmm. a sign. I want a sign that is a life, that is okay. I understand. What is, I mean, it's, yeah, go on, Aviram. We ask for a humanitarian visa for the hostages, for all the hostages, and among with them, among them, the we need something to say that he's okay and he's alive. And uh, we know that other hostages have lots of... And this is the first stage 
of trust they have to do for humanity. All the matter here is humanity. This is what they have to, to give them medical and doctors and that the Great Cross will see them. Absolutely, very basic demands. What's, what's keeping you going 26 days of this absolute hell? How do you, how do you get through the day? Very hard, very hard. We can't sleep, eat, you know, it's uh, everything changed, my life changed. Uh, I'm, I'm not working now. I'm doing everything to bring my son back. Yeah. Well, listen, Orit and Abiram, we're very sorry for you. It's absolutely horrendous what you're going through. And we, we pray for you and we hope you, you have a happy outcome to this. We pray for your son, Almog. Thank you so much.